I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media. Thank you for joining us today. Nikan Limited has intersected multiple new zones of nickel bearing mineralization during its phase two drill program at its wine nickel property in Manitoba, Canada. The wine project, which covers approximately 56.8 square kilometers, is located 50 kilometers southwest of Snow Lake near the former Reed Lake Mine, Spruce Point Mine, and Rail Deposit. The phase two exploration program program at the wine project included approximately 2,800 meters of diamond drilling and had two primary objectives. The first objective was to test the high-grade wine occurrence to the north, which was successfully achieved with high-grade mineralization reported in May. The second objective was to identify additional nickel-bearing mineralized zones within the wine gabbro. The program not only successfully identified new mineralized zones for follow-up exploration, but the results also indicate these new zones could be part of a specific horizon within the wine gabbro. This is significant as there are multiple geophysical VTAM conductors along the interpreted strike of the mineralization that extends for kilometers to the southwest and northeast. Downhole and ground geophysical surveys will be completed on the newly identified zones to assist in future diamond drill targeting. The targets drilled to date have intersected various in quantities of disseminated to massive pyrotite mineralization with noticeable amounts of calcopyrite. The most noteworthy results have come from the area targeted by diamond drill holes Wine 237 and Wine 238, where varying degrees of pyrotite and calcopyrite mineralization have been intersected in two relatively shallow zones. Assay results have returned anomalous copper and nickel values over core lengths of more than 10 meters. Several diamond drill holes established from the same drill pad as Wine 23.8 indicate the mineralization is likely dipping to the east and is interpreted to be associated with a northeast trending magnetic anomaly. The company observed a broad range of anomalous nickel copper values to vertical depths of greater than 100 meters. Anomalous nickel and copper values in diamond drill hole 2315 located to the south of hole 237 are likely related to this newly defined mineralized horizon. VTEM conductors can be traced for several kilometers in a northeast southwest direction and future work will be concentrated in this area. At the wine occurrence interpret work indicates that the nickel copper zones sit at the top of the wine gabbro unit interpreted as an upper magma chamber. Management believes that additional VTEM conductors along strike to the northeast and southwest also demand follow-up work. Brad Humphrey, president and CEO, stated, We are very happy with the results of the wine phase 2 drill program and the intersection of the new mineralized nickel bearing zones. Importantly, these new occurrences of of disseminated and massive sulfides suggests the wine gabbro hosts multiple mineralized pods like those seen in the Lynn Lake area. Interpretive work indicates that there are several horizons within the wine gabbro that require testing with geophysics, geochemistry and subsequent diamond drilling. Nikan remains in a strong position with a solid balance sheet and highly prospective nickel sulfide projects in established mining jurisdictions. The shares which began trading in August 2022 are currently trading at six cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, nicanltd.com. Contact Brad Humphrey, President and CEO at 416-565-4007 or by email at info at nicanltd.com. For investor relations, contact Sandy Noyes at snoyes at nicanltd.com. I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Invest Pitch Media.